I know who you are. Oh, I got Watch another out. good one for you. yourself through this yeah I want my parents to come home now and you you keep an eye on that front door you're our lookout it's Doug you got it and I'm Carly okay Carly you'll shift in with Doug you got it boss <laughs> son of a bitch one of them is bitten we kick his ass that's what I'm thinking <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Now you watch your ass. Ooh, I hope this episode gives me a, uh, an option to punch him. they get this time uh, looks like a rabbit <sighs> well that's another meal lost <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months it seemed like so much at the time maybe you shouldn't have opened the door yeah except then I'd probably be food by now trust me I have no regrets uh, rabbits hardly a meal mark but I'd take it we're all hungry no kidding when I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry yeah, Kenny, going man. off on the last <clears throat> Kenny's the homie. What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Oh, Larry. Oh, don't worry about him. Oh, yeah. He's just an old racist asshole. That's well, he needs took to the words right out of my start mouth. Finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. And I have to get him back. Yo. Shadow bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Yeah, bro, what's wrong with you? Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Oh 
Christ. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a whoa, bear whoa, trap whoa, whoa, out whoa, whoa, here? Whoa. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. You gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After really? that, you can leave us or whatever. Really? Well, your, your dad ain't here, is he? Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. He said my dad was special forces. Like that's going to help us in this case. Uh, Lee, the strap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. And it's your fault. Shit, walkers. It's now or never leave. Please get me out of this. Mark, get the them. boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Damn, this is bad. He's lost so bad. much blood already. Just get please hurry up. All that blood and screaming. We're gonna be Come on, do minute. something. Please. Get me oh out. boy, looks like that's. Wait, hold on, hold on now, Try hold on now. Jane. Why is this happening to us? Okay, well, it looks like that's not working. Fuck. It's like it's the only option. Did you say, yeah, now. yeah, do it? You want me to do it? I think one more should do it. Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. One more should do it. Ah. Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. What are you doing all the way back there anyway? Where's all that special forces training, huh? Oh my god. What would you do? Wow, boy. Boy. All that special forces training went out the window. Well, he said his dad was special forces. And he said he knew what he was doing, so... I mean, I figured you knew something, you know, but... That trainer said, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> I'm okay, Clint. Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee. 
What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right? I here, mean, she's not right wrong, now. but at the same time, well, hang on. You know, we haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Can I punch Why him? don't you go help Mark with the wall? How about I throw him over the wall? <laughs> you think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat this all. No, I'm kidding. Let me stop. <laughs> you only have four food items for ten hungry people. That is tough. Oh, I ain't giving Larry shit. <laughs> I'm gonna feed the kids, of course. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Carly some. So that's three. Who'd be the fourth guy? Now you know what? I'll give her some too. I'll give the wife some. Is he gonna be okay? Oh, let me I talk to her real quick. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing. But Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. I need space, Lee. You all right? Hang on, let me uh go around. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay. Hell no. <laughs> I'll take care of some <laughs> Go back to playing with Duck for a while. Okay. Clem's first. <laughs> Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I'm gonna give her. I'll give her the. Yeah, I'll give her the apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh. Um, Enjoy it. 
You deserve it. I right, duck. I'm gonna hey, duck. hook you up. How about a little food? <laughs> Bro, he have his fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some stale ass crackers and cheese. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh shit. All right, so we got the kids taken care of. Uh, yeah, let's see if Carly wants something. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Yeah, cause I'm she's okay. a good shot. We, we need her. I want you to have this, we okay? need her energized. In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Okay, so she doesn't want it? Okay. Uh, I guess we can get some now. Want something to eat? If your camp got raided, probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I am really hungry. Thanks. Gotcha. <sighs> Let's say the last. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. That is true. That's what. That's what I'm thinking about. All right. Everybody done taken care of? I bet. We'll talk to him real quick. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. <sighs> the coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Yeah, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Damn, you know what? Let's look him up. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Okay, cool. Not such an easy job, is it? No, not 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 really. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength. I ain't, give, I ain't giving Larry shit. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out. What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating. We run out, like this. sir. The days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. <laughs> He's like, where am I at? Oh, like, uh, excuse me, sir. You gets nothing. Hang on, let me, uh. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Damn. Damn. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kabja can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, yeah, bro, Larry. He's, like but nothing. He's something. She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Hey, man. Uh, on the count of three, you want me to? You want to help me hoist that uh, man, Larry, over the wall? <laughs> 
He was getting on my last nerve. <laughs> Sorry, there, was, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Do you ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I'm gonna give the axe to Mark. Fuck you, Larry. <laughs> here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it a rest, man. <laughs> Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? You saw that? You saw that? Is that what you exactly what it is. There, that's right. And what are you going to do about Ooh, here we go, it's time. I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. Wow. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. I know you did your best. he's not our problem anymore. Especially what we have. Oh, homeboy lied to us. Move, move. How the hell did you miss? <laughs> Bro, he lied to us. He said he wasn't bitten. Nah. Nah, fam. Asshole. Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. You said he wasn't bitten. Exactly. Well, we asked you point blank, was he bitten? And you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. What? God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the wow. girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks off, got the motel locked off down. Off rip, you can tell they're weird. Fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, no, I'm we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? 
Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? Ooh. We got plenty at the dairy. I got a double bacon cheeseburger. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the with place a large out. fry and a milkshake, here. chocolate. I'm going with you. Mm. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Hell yeah, we'll go to dairy. Y'all got food, homie. <laughs> we'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, do you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stock. But you said a few miles up the road, you walking, bro? We got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Yeah, I'm more level-headed. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure, everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great, that can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? Somehow, I ended up here locking into the commissary storage shed. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about it. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Huh? <laughs> We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Yeah, I too many questions. <laughs> Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Whoa, hold on now. Damn. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling the shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Fuck you! You knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it up. Oh no, there's Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. Hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh! Fuck you! Damn! I said earlier they look weird, like <laughs> Baby, but they got food, man. Here it is. Dang it. can see how we kept this place so safe the fence I see you. you betcha they fry like bugs in a zapper 
We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Okay. So Y'all living it up here, huh? This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You know, Don't mind if I uh, help myself to some stuff. It's I mean, uh, <clears throat> hence all the jokes. <laughs> I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Bake fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully maybe hey, ability kid. Appreciate the follow, man. Thank you, thank you. Us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks I'm out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Yeah, she's a good shot. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Oh, you taking him with you? Okay. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. And you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Okay. This place is nice though. I ain't even gonna lie. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Wait. I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Man, this fence is fantastic. We'll do whatever you want to help keep it running. Well, clearing that perimeter is going to be a big help. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's just go ahead and... Uh... What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Mm. I'll just go ahead and talk to the old boy. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. 
Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is gonna go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did Bobby, come on, let's, it right to his face. Let's not play dumb. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. I mean, he is. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. I mean, it's true, but for the time being, it's doing great. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? Yep, yep. 
Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh! What the? Get to the gate! Oh shit! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! What the? F we had the freedom. Now you fuck. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Now there you are, boys. Fuck. Come on. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to do. I can do give it to oh, you. Yeah. You asshole. You didn't find the spot. Are you for real, bro? Okay, you know what? Hang on. Quick, he'll see you. I'll just raise up. No fuel. Of course. No, 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 no. Ah. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah. Come on. This is this is crazy, yo. Damn, we got my boy. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. Boy, we gotta get back, man. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? A lot of them. We had a deal. Oh shit! Nah, nah, fam. Nah, fam. Better get off me. You okay? Yeah. Barely. Come on. The gate's right there. Real. How are you crawling that fast, bro? Thanks, guys. Let's get out of here. What the f was that? Lee, what's wrong? There was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here on our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why'd I bring Larry? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, Make sure she take her at her shoulder and this? nothing else, you know what I'm saying? There's some people no, on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. 
Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us in our guns can handle again. a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. Oh, there's the civility. Shut up, Larry. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Wow. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Oh, is that Larry over there? Let me see if we can talk. Uh, oh, it's cool. oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Oh, let me see if there's anything. Oh. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Lots <clears throat> of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for marrows, if that becomes a problem. Alright. Now it's gonna be talking to freaking Larry. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. Yeah, let's talk about this fool, man. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So, he's the asshole. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything, and it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself and me. All he's got left in the world is me, and that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably going to keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him, and don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad, and I love him. Ah, oh, man. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Bro, no one could have predicted that, though, eh? So you wouldn't even own that. 
take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Aw, oh, shit. You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Hey, Larry. I don't care what your daughter says. <laughs> Until I get an apology from your ass. Yeah. You're still an asshole. <laughs> Uh, boy. And I'm still gonna punch him in the face. That will make us even. That thing keeps a fence electrified. I'm gonna go check on the kids. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Don't get an attitude. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, oh, yes. We have to make yes. sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. No problem. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> all right. Don't, let's go talk to these two. <clears throat> How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You yeah, you should have told us. Buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. <laughs> I think some the way of Lee Cousins is hilarious. Up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, we gotta work together on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Oh, I'll be okay, Clem. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. Better not be lying to me. Here. 
Oh shit. That looks like a camp, alright. Something's about to pop out. I was man, I was getting ready for it. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Well, the first thing I do see is some boxes right here. I got food in it. Well, let's look at look at let's look Empty. at it. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. I'll pass. Uh -huh. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Just water. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Nothing. Empty. No, it's a camera. What do you find? A video camera. L let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Bro, Let's did you, bro, come on, man. He's giving off signs, man. He seemed pretty happy that the camera didn't work. I see you work. handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Nah, we're not gonna slip past that, my friend. When I told you that the batters were dead, he's like, uh, oh... Oh, okay. Whew. Like, come on, man. That's probably something incriminating on there. Clem's hat? 
still is her hat. Yup. The hell? Don't fucking move. Oh, Jesus. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Who? Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I faked them every way I could think. But they just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want. And oh, you are those. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Y'all wave them guns like you're looking oh, to die. Oh, shit. Don't need to go Damn. I, 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 okay, okay. I didn't mean to do this, but. Us. Just waiting to get turned into monsters. Shit. What the hell did you do that for? We had a deal with them. Bro. She was about to shoot us both. You could have just taken her down. You didn't have to kill her. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods. Like I didn't know what to do. So, yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Damn. I pushed the wrong button. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy bitch down. You're back. It's not like I what wanted happened? to. Lee took care of it. You're acting like I'm a monster or something. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then. Why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. We don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time. But you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Maybe we should check on Mark, man. See how he's doing. I 
that's right. Yeah, we got the hat. That's the first order of business. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh huh. Did you lick it? You know you did. <laughs> there you go. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? That's a good question. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Else. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Mm, it smells funny in here. Like shit, right, Lee? Oh! Hey, don't you swear words, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, come on, man. Hey. <laughs> hey there, Andy. Yep. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. The main right here, Chief. Let me see. Okay, there ain't nothing in there. Uh, wait, can we get out? Stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Sorry, Doug. Empty. Okay, nothing in those. Okay, well. found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. 
Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. All right. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Or really, do <laughs> What I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Wow, brother. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside it, then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Uh, no, um... Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me. Yeah, man. It's... The farm can be a dangerous... The, ev farm. the evidence is... You know, the band Adding is up to these people being crazy. Friends. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. But you already know what we're going to do. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Chill, chill. Uh. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Ah, damn it. The window, maybe? No. Oh, ooh, what's over here? And then check these. Whoa! Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Bro, there was a shoe in that box. I oh, don't know, man. Thumb is off. It's a feeding trough. some fence posts well how do I destroy him oh let's let's open up these again maybe there's something oh oh I think I know I think I know the generator hopefully let me see Maybe we can do something with the generator. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Okay, Larry got game, somewhat. Still an asshole. I think I had the right idea. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix 
Watch this if something goes wrong. They're clueless about this stuff. Is there anything we can do with it though? Instead of turning it off? Ah. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Oh, I need a screwdriver. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Yeah, that'll do. It's not a screwdriver, but it'll do. Yeah, let me turn it off first. <laughs> that was so stupid. All right, now let's go. Let's do it. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, Tom. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Okay, so while he's focused on that, yeah, it's crazy, man. Uh, a piece popped off in there. I don't know how. I don't know how, but all right, we got him occupied. Let's go. I will close the door though. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. I'm. Close the door! Just came in and found a door open like that. Probably my idiot brother. Uh, hey, was anyone with you just now? No. Not the doc? No, she went in the house. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, good. What kind of fucking operation y'all running here? <laughs> oh, Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Excuse a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. Now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You want me, man? What Mark are you? He's been, been gone for a minute. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Bro, I don't know. I truly don't know, y'all. Fuck. Wait, hold up. Should we make it look like we washed our hands? Well, let's... Uh, let's go ahead and close it. 
Oh, well, we can't wash our hands anyways. morphine for candles smart I guess someone needed some first aid recently musty as hell huh where is that cord going right This is what I think is leading to, bro. The bloody, the bloody instruments outside in the barn and a trap door. And Mark's been gone for a long ass time. Mark's behind this door. I feel it. Yup. Disgusting. Don't eat dinner. <laughs> oh, shh. Clementine. Oh, hell no. We gotta go. 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 That's disgusting. Clementine. No. <laughs> Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass oh hell yeah, I did. This lady has made you a meal. Well, as a matter of yeah, fact, lady, you can keep eating. But everybody you. else. Everybody you else. Use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Okay. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. That's Growing disgusting. Up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways. One way or another. He got an arrow in his shoulder. He wasn't gonna die? Like y'all. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking out of here! My fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? 
Somebody do something! Lee? Lee? I'll tear you apart! Oh, she threw up. a way out of here. Dead, Kenny. You remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. You gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please Fuck, you're gonna make me chew. Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. You're right, Kitty. Let's get this you over. You fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't wanna see. I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! That's the only way. <laughs> get off me! Don't do this! But. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's getting up anytime soon. No, please. No. That'd have been so fucked up if he was just starting to wake up. I'm sorry. I Don't know. you fucking touch me. <laughs> Clementine. Clem. You okay? Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. I'm sorry. We couldn't take that chance. You understand why we had to do this, Clementine. 
So we won't turn into one of those monsters? That's right. Damn. Uh, but... I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Oh man, I don't even feel like talking to her right now. I'll, I'll let her deal with that. Damn. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. I've got a rock. Ah, uh, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. Not coming off that way. It's not coming off that way. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. and get this unit off. Or oh, maybe I gotta find something in the room to help me help. Oh. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. You've got to pull yourself together, Lily. Why? For your sake? So you can feel better about... about what you did? For your own sake. Right. Because you fucking care so much about me. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your... Permission. Do what you have to do. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture. Got it? Yeah. One more should do it.
you uh, think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Yep, exactly what I was thinking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we definitely gonna need that. Oh yeah. It's got two pointers on it. Oh yeah. is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Stay close. Oh, wow. Outside the barn. Oh shit. oh shit. Just guarding the place like you said. Mm. Sitting out in the rain like the man here. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. We can only keep and kill the rest. And I put them to one of the people in my house. Not to kill. And what meat on the tray. Uh, oh, I know we need closer. This is my favorite part too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, we'll take him out together. And now he doesn't know how to get to the meatlocker. We can take him out with his back is to us. See what he's doing now. See where he is now. Okay. Uh. Wow, really? Shit! No! Wow, I wasn't ready for that. I was not ready for that. Not fast. Yep. There you go. There you go. I won't be 
far behind. Oh, yes. You see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. Oh. That's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. Do it then. I know you. Shut up. No! How come y'all don't announce ourselves? Let's go get the other one. Hell yeah, Carly. Let's Carly. go. Me? Ow. Shh. Is everyone okay? We heard screams as we were coming up to the house. They attacked us. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit. How many of them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Set her down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Yeah, it's me. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I wonder why I try to lie. She's she mean with me. Worth it. Please, please don't you take another step. Brent, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Stop right there. I okay. Need okay. Okay. Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. Kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Oh, Mark. <clears throat> Stay back. Don't do anything stupid. Let her go, Brenda. Please, I'll do it. Please. Just a little bit more. Well, then don't put the gun down if you know I'm about to beat your ass, but you know, I don't want to, you know. Please, 
don't make this any worse. Just stop. Yes, just a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Oh hell no! Don't mess with the don't mess with the kids, man. Damn! Andy, who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done! Look at what we've done! You brought this on yourself. No, uh, uh you did this. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. There you go, Carly. Get out the way, duck. Nah. Nah, boy. Yep. Get this work. Oh, come on, Lee. Get up. Get the fuck up. Nah, boy. Get off me. Come on. Nah, you ain't getting me. You ain't getting me. Nope. My, my fingers! No! <laughs> Lily, help! For real, bitch. Nope. Nope. Mm. All right, come on. Yep. Yep. Get this one. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Everybody, watch this work. Watch this greatness. You're the one talking, huh? It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dana and Mama get out here, you you all fucked! <laughs> They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! I mean, since he asked, you know... Is this what you? It'll be like, is this what you want? She turned quick.
But still, that's disgusting, man. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... Ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Okay, he got shot. Yeah, man, we got chicken on our boy. I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready to roll. I want you to come with us. I mean it. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I'm sorry you had to see that, but I only did it to protect us. Because they tried to hurt us? Yes. Okay. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God, not more strangers. Yeah, this approach him real slow. We don't know what could pop out at us. Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. Damn, look they all that food. Of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? W what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Dude. See, why y'all making me do this? Because I can see both points. This is about survival, but at the same time, man, we need to eat. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open it's the just, trunk. It's a really tough decision to make, dude. There's 
It's locked. No shit, I already tried that. But I heard you take the keys from up front. Supplies? I'll pick it. More food in here. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I guess so. It is a really, really tough decision, man. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, shit. Wow, somebody was watching us. Wow. Just wow, yo. Making is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's Ooh. not doing so good, huh? But we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Dude. Dude. That was that was a good episode.
That episode was insane. That's right, I can't skip. All right, you guys. Uh, I think that's gonna do it for uh, the Walking Dead. We're gonna play the rest of the episodes. Another.